Welcome everybody to the Steve Jordan Experience. It's a pleasure to have you here with me today and excited to be back and recording. And I've got a great guest with me here today. Um, and it's actually ironic. Uh, this, this guest has uh, written a book uh, and it's called You Are Not Broken. It's a holistic guide for men and women to heal the pathways of sexual dysfunction and restore relation, uh, relational harmony together. Um, you know, then, and I say it's no, no coincidence um, because having a baby or having, getting my wife pregnant was not an easy endeavor. <laughs> I wish I had known this when I was in my 20s and 30s. Now at 47, um, you know, when we wanted it most and when it was, you know, really important to us, it became a challenge. Um, fortunately, we didn't have to go down any um, alternative medicine re routes, but we had to really manifest and create a natural and neutral and uh, harmonious relationship with each other and an environment that was conducive to, um, you know, getting that uh, getting that job done. And we did, fortunately, and it is a blessing and it is a miracle. Many of you have heard that um, and those who are parents can really relate to that. Um, so, uh, yeah, again, uh, without further ado, I'd like to welcome our guest, Brooke Hazen. Uh, Brooke has been a uh, he's got a jack, jack of all trades, an organic farmer, a fitness expert, and now an author. Um, but he comes from a story that I'm really interested in knowing about. Um, and it's kind of guided him into the path of writing this book about you are not broken. Um, this is an area of life and, and sometimes health that becomes very uh, scary, fearful, um, and sometimes even embarrassing. Um, you know, dysfunction in your sexual functions, dysfunction in your sexual ability um, and or in your harmony with your relationships with men or women. Um, it depends on, uh, you know, a lot of different factors and variables. So, um, you know, let's have Brooke Hazen uh, tell us more about his story and guide us on the path to better sex and a, and a fulfilling life. So welcome, Brooke. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. Um, so, so yeah, your story, uh, you know, we talked just briefly about it. I'm really interested to hear about it because you said that you sort of fell into your career um, or into this path that you are now on. So tell me more about that. Yeah, well, I feel the the darkest night holds the potential to shine forth the brightest light. And for mm -hmm. me, I like that. For me, the most unexpected, unbelievable, and beautiful journey started for me several years ago when I first started noticing the symptoms of erectile dysfunction. Now, I just like even using that term erectile dysfunction because it creates fear and dis disempowerment around it. When there's no nothing could be further from the truth, we are fully empowered and there's nothing to fear. It's Western medicine and the pharmaceutical industry that keep us locked in these draconian measures. The Western medicine, the pharmaceutical, the pornographic, and the insurance industries and corporations are the richest on earth. They profit off of our disease, dysfunction, imbalance, and addictions. It doesn't profit them to provide holistic, curative, and preventative solutions to get at the root source because it goes against their financial incentive, which is strictly providing two elements, which is pharmaceuticals and um, surgeries. So I actually provide uh, simple and easy, uh, holistic, curative, and preventative solutions for all three major forms of ED we see today. But a few years ago, I actually was, uh, before I knew all this, I was totally disempowered and I was terrified. And so I reached out to Western Medicine for help. And they, of course, they prescribed for me the only tool they have for all forms of ED, uh, which is pharmaceutical ED drugs, which target the cardiovascular function of our blood vessels, the endothelial layer, uh, which jumpstarts the nitric oxide production pathway. And it does this uh, for all parts of the body because you cannot separate all the parts of the body. They're all interconnected. So this induces blood flow to not just the lingam, but the, the brain, the heart, and the muscles. And that's what causes the debilitating side effects. So I later found and out- you, actually, and Let me interrupt you there for a second. Are you referring to, and you don't have to mention the, but like Viagra or one of these other yes, drugs? Yes, okay. all forms, all forms yeah. of pharmaceutical EDs, as well as natural um, ED medications. These follow, mimic the exact same nitric oxide production pathway. So I actually get to the root source of it, which we'll get into, but 
I later found that I actually had porn-induced erectile dysfunction, which is neurologically based form of ED. Um, and this, and I was actually being misdiagnosed and misprescribed along with millions of men right now with blood flow inducing medication when I did not have any blood flow issues. I had neurological and energetic based ED, um, which millions are experiencing right now, the fastest growing segment of ED. Um, but I was going to- Can you, through... can you, uh, can you, uh, can you uh, kind of identify that? And what is, like, what does it mean? Like, what are the, what is that? Uh, this is the first that I'm hearing of this. Uh, yeah, can yeah. You sort of, can you um, define this and or bring that more to life? We are going to go is... into that. This yeah. takes some time to define. Um, okay. But just to finish my story first, and then we will definitely be going into depth of how that works neurologically okay. and energetically. Great. I'll identify it all and provide simple and easy solutions. They're actually free solutions for the, for this. Um, but. Anyways, I was actually experiencing so many burdens at the same time, and millions of men are actually experiencing this right as we speak, which is why I wrote this book. I also made a promise to God I'd write this book. Um, but I was experiencing the scarlet letter of erectile dysfunction with the humiliation, the disempowerment, um, the confusion and desperation, as well as the perpetual dopamine crashes from my addiction to pornography with the mood imbalance, fatigue, and distancing in the relationship. In addition, this added burden of pharmaceutical ED drugs with their debilitating side effects, their exacting and mechanical nature, and their diminishing and failing results. Um, and during this whole process, I was praying to God. I've always been very spiritual, but especially during this time, I leaned heavily on God to help me get through this. I was praying for, at first, for a pharmaceutical or even natural drug, which worked and didn't cause side effects. It wasn't a very high bar. And of course, my prayers were never answered on that. And I'm glad they weren't because God had so much more in store for me than settling for a lifetime prescription of pharmaceutical EG drugs without any plan to regain a vibrant, healthy sexual function ever again. So during this time, I was um, going through you know, cycles of depression for weeks at a time. And it was really real and scary for me because I wasn't sure if and when I'd come out of these cycles of depression. And when the last drug finally didn't resonate with me and failed me, resonate with my heart and soul and physically, um, I came to the end of the line. I, if you can imagine going back a few years, I didn't have any pathway in front of me. It was just myself alone and God. And so I prayed to God um, and let go completely into God's arms this time with full faith and just prayed for a healing miracle, a healing miracle over and over. And it was at this time that God decided I was ready and led me on the most incredible journey of natural healing, growth, learning, and massive transformation, not only of my sexual health to levels I could have never dreamt of, but also my overall physical, relational, mental, and emotional health, and showed me how these are all inextricably interlinked and inseparable, unlike what Western medicine wants us to believe. This letting go is integral to my teachings in the book and what I'm talking about today. Letting go of the fears, of the myths and misconceptions, of the addictions and negative habits, and the peer pressure from family, friends, society, and especially corporations. And by letting go of this, as well as simply letting go of this addiction to pornography and semen release, um, we're, we're able to allow the healing light of God to enter into our bodies, hearts, and souls once again. And for the innate intelligence that's in every cell of our body to fulfill its mandate of restoring perfect balance and health. The first miracle God led me to was Your Brain on Porn by Gary Wilson. And this forever changed my life and I recommend it in my book to everyone to read. Um, I understand so clearly now why God led me to this, this miracle. It was because God wanted me to understand and for all of you to profoundly understand the enormous power that our sexual behavioral choices have to either create massive dysfunction or massive positive transformation in all areas of our life you know um by this is the foundation by harnessing and rebuilding our neurology our 
dopamine and our chi sexual energy, which I'll be going into. These truly are the foundation, the launching pad for transformation. They unlock the unlimited potential of our mind. You see, um, neurology is dopamine. Dopamine is our drive, determination, our motivation, our will to become the ideal beings we're truly meant to be. It's what moves us every day. Our chi sex energy is both our, our sexual as well as our physical energy. They're inseparable. It's our life force. It's what creates new life and it's what creates our own life. And the, when we talk about biohacks, as I know you're very big on biohacks, and my whole book, to be sure, is full of biohacks. It's one giant biohack. But biohacking refers to using natural methods to regain our vibrancy, vitality, and youthful vigor, and uh, also reverse biological aging. And normally, we don't recognize the power of neurology and energy. But if I want to convey one very important thing today, it's that the enormous power as a biohack for uh, regaining this vibrancy and vitality and youthful vigor by harnessing the powers of our neurology, of respecting it, building it up, because our neurology is essential for getting an erection. It's essential for arousal, to get an erection and gain an erection and maintain an erection. It's also essential for our arousal in life, to everything in life, and our chi suction energy is our, our life essence, it's everything we depend on. So um, basically that's where we must start, not only in our lives in general, but also with ED, because we have to first restore, make sure that we're not having neurological and energetic ED, which I'll be going into next, but um, because we could have organic ED, but still not resolve it, even if we resolve the organic ED, if we do also have neurological and energetic ED. So it's important to look at ED holistically. This is why holistic health is the best way to resolve ED and really the only way I'll show you. So uh, an interesting story. So, you know, when you say you have transformation, a big transformation, I want to get to that so that we know kind of what uh, we, we, we understand your breakdown. What was the big transformation for you? Uh, where, where did you come out on the other side? Well, for me, it was the website, Your Brain on Porn. That's what, un like I just said, that's truly what unlocks this. I, I want mm -hmm. everyone to understand, especially the men, that when you do simply quit pornography and semen release and practice semen retention and go on to, you know, relational building practices like Caretta Dao and Tantra, uh, you see a massive transformation. Hundreds of thousands of men have gone through this transformation process and it is real. And there's, it's really something I just encourage people to experience because once you experience it, you'll never want to go back to the way you were because it's really an illusion, which I'll be showing you later on in the podcast. Yeah, no doubt. I can, uh, I, I can share a, a story that I went through that's similar. Um, it's a transformational story in and around this as well. And I've never shared this on this on this podcast before. Um, so one of my first sexual encounters was when I was in fifth grade. Um, I was I French kissed my girlfriend in fifth grade and you're whatever. I think you're like 11 years old. And it was like, you know, really too young to be doing. I see fifth graders. It was too young to be doing that. Fast forward my whole life. I was very sexually active and had a lot of uh, called sexual escapades and a lot of fun and uh you know whatnot and um there was this one ex one time about uh, eight years ago i decided that sexual uh, my, my sexual promiscuity was inhibiting inhibiting me from finding and being with the right person um that i wanted to be with i was i was ready to settle down and i had just never really been able to kind of to to i would never been able to not cheat on a girlfriend I was always somebody who like never, I, I would juggle girls and sometimes girlfriends I, you know, even had committed to, but I ended up going on a sabbatical, if you will. Uh, I took a year off from any courting, any masturbation, any, uh, like uh, anything that was going to make me like, again, trigger some of those old emotions and feelings and desires that I had before. My friends at that time, the people who knew me, called me Buddha Steve. They didn't really know what I was doing, but I was really centered, very present. I also didn't drink. I didn't do drugs. I didn't do anything that was going to put me in a space 
where it would again trigger or put me into like the old old habits that I had. So I literally transformed that. Fast forward after that period of time, I met my wife and I was able to fully commit with her. I was able to fully be with her. Now we're together for almost eight years, longest relationship I've ever been fully committed to. I haven't cheated, won't cheat. That's not part of my future, nor will ever be if that ever comes into my and then, like if there was ever somebody that I really wanted desired to be with more than her, well, I would divorce her before I got into that situation. Um, I, I just had to transform my life and be able to fully commit. And that, like you said, taking that time to, uh, and it was all about self-love. That's what I experienced was that I didn't really love or respect myself. And I had to find that self-love and the respect for myself to be respectful and love somebody else. You know, that saying, you have to love yourself before you can love someone. You have to love yourself before you can love somebody else. And that's what I did. So it was huge. And I'm, uh, I'm grateful I did that. And I can totally relate to your story as well. Um, yeah. Yeah. So very, very cool. And I encourage, you know, people to kind of look into that as well. During that time, I went to, um, uh, sex, sex addicts and not or sex, like drug addicts anonymous or alcoholics anonymous. I went to sex addicts anonymous, um, where I went to several meetings and, you know, really heard stories of people who had some serious addictions to sex and pornography and, uh, and the like. Um, and it just, it grounded me. It made me realize that I wasn't alone, which was great. Uh, I had support and I had confidential support. So, uh, yeah, never shared that before and sharing it now. So thank you. That's out of the bag, man. <laughs> Talk about Let's just be open authentic. about it. Yeah. 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 Why not? You know, this is how we transform people. So, you know, we're, we're human. So yes. tell us now about, um, you know, this demystifying the rest of the function. What are the three major forms? Sort of alluded to them, um, the organic, the, um, the, the the situational or the, the, the or neurog neurological and then physical would that be the third yeah, yeah yeah okay yeah so let's demystify ed let's make this simple and easy because it really is simple and easy mm -hmm. um western medicine wants us to be confused about it so that we'll be dependent on their drugs um but basically i've identified three major forms of ed the first one is porn-induced erectile dysfunction, and this is a neurologically based form of ED. It's an arousal displacement dysfunction, which I'll be getting into in more depth, but we're now entering the end of a two decade long massive experiment on the minds and neurology of the global population. And the results are in, and the results are terrifying and harrowing. We're seeing an entire generation of young men as virgins unable to have the first sexual experience of their lives, if you can imagine, and engage in any meaningful relationship. Hmm. Essentially, I, pornography is destroying neurology, relationships, and leaving men impotent. Yeah, second, I have no doubt. I mean, I have no doubt. I mean, it's crazy. I mean, even would yeah. you say, and my guess is that's more than just even pornography, it's the Instagram and all the other social influences Definitely. where it's like yes. soft porn, you know, where you're looking at, uh, yes. you know, this, this ideology of a, of a, you know, of, of these bodies and people and, you know, you're turned on or turned off and you're trying to find that in real life and it doesn't exist. Well, it, I'm going to get into this, but that's all dopamine. These are all dopamine kicks. These yeah. are all dopamine addictions. Even the soft virtual reality we try and refrain from, uh, when we're, uh, going off of porn addiction. But the second form of ED that I've identified is uh, similar to porn addiction. It's usually linked with it, but it's actually its own form of ED. And that's releasing our semen too often. It depletes our chi sexual energy and basically causes fatigue and sexual exhaustion. Now, these first two forms of ED are, you know, simple, easy, and even free to resolve. Um, we simply just let go of this addiction to pornography and semen release. And not only are we fully empowered to resolve these first two, we're the only power able to resolve this. Even if we want to give away our power to Western medicine, the pharmaceutical industry, they cannot resolve it for us. It's up to each individual to go within themselves and quit the addiction to pornography and semen release and practice semen retention in order to resolve these two first forms of ED, which are the fastest growing segments of ED we see today. Western medicine has no idea what to do with this because they only have a solution that they chanced upon, Viagra, Cialis, all that, I won't name names, but, and so that's all they can prescribe. 
So they ignore neurological and energetic dysfunction. They ignore root causes and sources. We need to understand that. So we have to look out for ourselves. The third form of ED we see today is the one we're hyper-focused on. And we can have that. It's organic ED. It's a physical source of ED, which really has to do with the cardiovascular and the hormonal. But, you know, we need to be clear here that, um, first of all, I want to say that I'm unwittingly and through the grace of God, I may be the only person that has actual solutions that gets to the root source of not just porn-induced ED and energetic ED, but also organic ED. I don't know anyone right now who is actually getting to the root source of curing uh, organic ED, actually getting to the root cause. And, and that's what I did. We need to understand that um, not only the pharmaceutical EDs, but also the natural ED supplements which mimic the same pathways of boosting nitric oxide production artificially from beyond our own body, um, what is capable of producing from within, that these don't cure anything. They don't resolve anything. And the reason we see diminishing and failing effects is because we're not actually getting to the healing. We're not actually getting to the root source because Western medicine does not do that. I challenge anyone to find a Western medicine practitioner who really believes in it to actually provide a holistic curative and preventative solution or get to the root source of anything. They do not. That's not what they're in business to do. It's simply for emergency situations and for when we've ignored our health for so long that we're in a, a, a dire straits. And so that's meant to be a bridge until we can actually resolve our lifestyle uh, changes that we need to make, as well as natural healing modalities that can get to the root source. That's what we're really looking to do. It shouldn't be the first line of defense as we are relying on for a lifetime. It should just be temporary and for emergency situations like you and I have gone through. Um, so um, I actually get to the root source. I actually ask the question, the simple question, how, do, if we are jumpstarting nitric oxide production for cardiovascular blood flow restrictive ED, which is art arteriosclerosis, if we're jumpstarting that artificially from, from outside our own body, how can we empower our own body to produce nitric oxide inside intelligently whenever and wherever we want um, uh, by its own power? And I, I'm going to get into that next. It takes a little bit of time to talk about what that is, as well as, you know, the different synergistic organic healing modalities I recommend in my book that can definitely simply and easily resolve ED. There's really no place for ED today or cardiovascular deaths today. It should not be happening. And I'm actually providing information in my book today that can we can take it heart, we could file this away, and we could use this to empower us to know that we have solutions. We have solutions for ED and for cardiovascular events. But I do want to take the time to go into PIED and semen retention, semen release a little bit more depth before we go into organic, because that takes a little time to talk about organic. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Okay. So porn-induced erectile dysfunction, as I mentioned, it's a neurologically based form of ED. It's not arousal displacement dysfunction, meaning now we don't talk about neurology enough, but as I mentioned before, neurology is absolutely essential to gain an erection and maintain an erection. And this is a an arousal displacement. What I experienced and many men experience, hundreds of thousands, millions of men are experiencing right now is um, being able to get aroused to your favorite pornography, but losing the arousal to a real life partner. And of course, this escalates to the next level because in order to get the same dopamine kick, you have to increase the content in order to get the same level of dopamine hit because dopamine is crashing. But um, what in inevitably happens is men are unable to get aroused to even their favorite pornography, at which point they are completely impotent to really to life itself because the dopamine is gone. The cheese sucks energy is gone. Um, so this really is a dopamine addiction neurologically. In fact, the science clearly shows that dopamine levels and receptors are in porn users is de depleted to the same chronically low levels experienced by cocaine and morphine addicts. So this really is an addiction on par with cocaine and morphine. We're just not recognizing it. And actually the brain cannot even differentiate between a 
a physical addiction to a drug and a neurological addiction to the super stimulus of pornography. Pornography is a super stimulus because it combines two major elements, and this is really important. The first is novelty. We have constant novelty at our fingertips that we can select for each individual specific neural arousal pathways, combined with the second important element, semen release. So I mentioned the word semen release on purpose rather than ejaculation, because in Tantra, we regularly practice what is called full body orgasm ejaculation without semen release. This is where our entire body, we're still satisfied. We still get all the same processes of, of having an ejaculation in our lingam and that, that um, orgasm, the sh our entire body shakes an orgasm in ecstasy but we're simply blocking the semen from being released. That's what men misunderstand in the West is that the, the effect is most potent where the semen is released. Actually, in the East, they've been aware for millennia. It's just in the West, we are completely naive that the moment semen is released, a male goes into an intense neurological, mental, and physical refractory period in which dopamine levels crash and prolactin levels rise. And prolactin is linked with fatigue, and even hair loss. And as the body also uh, goes through a process of replenishment, of replacing the lost vital sperm by pulling all the most precious resources of growth factors, nutrients, and hormones. And this causes a um, period of fatigue, mood imbalance, and distancing in the relationship for, which is the science shows it's most intense for the first few days solid but actually weaves up and down for up to two weeks in fact some of the largest reverberations are still happening at the two-week level which is scary you know 80 percent of men uh, statistically watch pornography at least once a week so we know it's at least that it's probably more 26 percent of women weekly um, so what this means is that the majority of men right now are experiencing um, overlapping dopamine crashes and entering a perpetual state of chronic fatigue, mood imbalance, um, anger, irritability, and a total inability to connect in any meaningful way in the relationship. You know, we don't question when it comes to a cocaine or morphine addict, if let's say we have a relationship with someone who's an alcoholic or addicted to cocaine or morphine, we wouldn't expect them to be in peak physical conditioning, to be sexually vibrant, performing well, and to be totally connected in the relationship with their communication skills. No, we wouldn't, we wouldn't expect that, but that's what's happening on an epidemic level right now with men. And it's making them where they're unable to live their fullest potential. I think it's important for us to kind of take yeah. a breather on that. And, and, you know, you're <laughs> definitely, you're definitely going into a lot of, uh, you know, intense content here. Um, Sure. You know, it, porn is, is, is a challenge. Uh, you know, a lot of people have addiction to porn. Um, and, you know, the, I think the, the root of this and the challenges, um, you know, go deeper even than, than that as well. I think there's this big social media and interconnectedness that we have lost over time uh, over the past 10 years or so now that most people even communicate just by text message. Uh, they don't even hear voices anymore. Um, you know, I just received a voice message today on my text, which sounded so awesome just to hear someone else's voice, but not have to talk to them. You know, these new ways of being have created this disconnection with ourselves, with others. And, you know, porn is also now, um, you know, like you said, it's like millions of people. I think, would you say 80% of men watch it on a weekly basis? Yeah. 89% of women. I mean, it's crazy to think that. Um, yes. And yeah. uh, women are I'm shocked guilty. to hear that. Yeah, I'm guilty of it, as, as I'm sure most people listening are as well. But I think that, um, you know, the, 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 the kind of the situation here, it, it's 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 like, where do we get to the to the root of this? You know, do you put blockers on your computer? Do you put, you know, the the you know, child proof everything, you know, that you so you don't like do it or watch it? Um, how do you start to do you, do you have to go to some uh, sex addicts anonymous or do you have to go and part be a part of some tantric, uh, you know, center and or go and, you know, be with the other people who have these things like, can you do this on your own? Is there a way to transform this without having to, you know, go out and, and really kind of 
you know, put yourself out there because I'm sure a lot of people don't necessarily want to do that. They want to, you know, kind of try and do this on their own. Is there a way that you could do that? Absolutely. I mean, um, you know, there's hundreds of thousands of men that most of them actually are forced to to seek resolutions and they go to the NOFAP movement, N-O-F-A-P, um, which has incredible support. Uh, it's people that have decided they want to quit the pornography addiction, but most of them have hit rock bottom. They're actually forced to, because as human beings, we sort of want to push things as long as we can get away with it. But when you actually experience porn-induced erectile dysfunction, which by the way, is not if, but when you will, because it is an arousal displacement dysfunction that is increasing as we continue. Uh, it happened to me, it happens to millions of men, but most men, unfortunately, uh, think that they have organic erectile dysfunction. And Western medicine loves to play right into this and go ahead and prescribe a lifetime prescription, VD drugs, without ever alerting men that the real source of the problem is that phone in their back pockets. <laughs> but yeah, actually, th there is support. There's tons of support. There's Remojo, which has just come out. My coach, Noah Church, is involved with that. And there's a the NoFap movement. Um, but it's basically most men have come to the point like myself where they realize for myself, I, I made the direct equation in my head that the immense suffering and depression and disempowerment I was experience, experiencing was a direct result of, of pornography use. And I was searching for any kind of way out of this. And when I found that out, I was all over it. I was like, just give me a protocol and I will go ahead and follow that because I have a lot of discipline. And I was like, basically never went back. I was, because I may, I think it's important to make that deep connection that this is the source of this emotional turmoil and, and every dysfunction you're experiencing in all aspects of your life. Mm -hmm. When you make that connection, then it's, it's in your heart. You know, you know, you know, within this is what it is. And, and, and then you're not, you're not going to be shaken by, you know, the, you'll never once, once again, want to go back to watching well, what if pornography. as disciplined as you. Well, then there are apps, there are, um, there is support. There's, you can even get a coach like I did. I had a coach to help me because I was experiencing a lot of trauma around it. Um, but you can get support from people that have navigated through these waterways and and there's also NoFap has groups um, that you can talk to, that you can discussions as groups. And, you know, I, I unfortunately, we see so many men grappling with this addiction and they know that they're going to receive these enormous benefits. But the addiction is so strong. But that's why I encourage people to make the, the distinct connection with the source of why this is causing so much pain and suffering in your life. When you make that comparison, like touching a fire and realizing that is fire, don't touch it. It's the same thing with pornography. You realize you're actually getting a fantasy. You're, you're pushing yourself further and further away from what you really want, which is a beautiful woman. Um, you're actually repelling them as your dopamine levels crash, your t sexual energy crashes. Um, you no longer have magnetism, drive, determination, communication skills, a voice, power. And women sense that they sniff it out and they run the other way. So we're actually uh, pushing our dreams away. We're, we're, we're actually replacing real life with a fantasy. And the men that have joined NoFap have decided they no longer want to live this fantasy of, of masturbating to an image on a screen and to, you know, not being able to experience relationships on a meaningful level. And so they want to have real relationships and real sexual, intimate relationships. Um, and so what we usually do on NoFap is we, once we go through this 90 day protocol of refraining from pornography and semen release and masturbation for, it's called no PMO for 90 days, almost all men end up not wanting to go back to semen release and, and, and definitely not looking at pornography, you know? Mm -hmm. And so we usually graduate to the next step, which is integrating these behaviors into our relationships through Tao, Tantra, and Caretza, which is what I did. I researched that and in my book, I go into depth about how this transforms and transmutes, these behaviors transmute into 
deeper, more connected, meaningful relationships through bonding behaviors, through uh, rejecting these these mating behaviors, which which happens, you know, because the the brain actually thinks that is it's waging a highly it's amazing. The brain thinks that consciously a man may be aware that we're engaging in a fantasy, right? But every time we release semen to pornography, the brain actually believes this is real and believes it's waging a highly successful campaign of mating with a wide range of novel sexy mates. And that's actually the very definition of mating behavior, which is spreading maximum genetic diversity through novel mate selection. Men are, are practicing this and perfecting this to toxic levels. And then they're transposing this into their relationships in the form of pornography in the relationship. Hmm. What is, um, when you are, you know, in this, you talked about Tantra, um, like this yeah. Tantric or these other two groups. Um, I know somebody who's also doing this, but like, explain what that means. And what are the other okay. two groups that well, you, you talked about? In the East, they've been aware of the successes that comes from practicing semen retention. The West, I don't understand what we're so afraid of because once men experience this, they're going to be like, what have I been missing? Because um, we're naturally afraid that men in the West think that by um, that we only get satisfaction through releasing semen. But actually, as I mentioned before, we're simply blocking the semen from being released. We actually, as the chi sexual energy and the dopamine levels return to the sexual areas of our body, we actually experience paradoxically the opposite of what men are afraid of. We experience increased sexual sensitivity and satisfaction and increased sexual performance, potency, and, and also prolongment. Um, whereas um, when we unconsciously, without having any control mechanisms over our sexual behaviors, when we unconsciously release our semen after the average of three to five minutes, we're not in alignment with women because men are usually unaware that women are on a different time cycle when it comes to sex. They're just getting aroused the moment that men are finished. And not only that, they're distancing. And this mm -hmm. leaves women wholly perplexed and actually pulling away in the relationship. So this is actually a technique to get in alignment with women. But of course, the most important benefit of all is avoiding the dopamine crashes, avoiding the um, fatigue, mood and balance, the distancing and satiety that's poisonous, undermines, and ultimately is going to destroy even the best matched, well-intentioned partners. And I go into that in my book because I've actually studied deeply and I'm friends with Marnia Robinson, who wrote Cupid's Poisoned Arrow. And she shows the neurology behind um, these mating behaviors versus bonding behaviors. And we don't have time to go into bonding behaviors right now um, because we got to go into organic ED also and cover all this forms of ED. But uh, I go into that in the book and I encourage people to incorporate these behaviors into their relationships. Awesome. Well, we've got, uh, we've got about 10 minutes. So tell us about organic ED. Okay. So as I mentioned, when it comes to cardiovascular ED, which is arteriosclerosis, um, the root source are actually that Western medicine and pharmaceutical industry do not want you to know. The root source and also the solutions for arteriosclerosis and blood flow ED starts from free radicals. Free radicals ravage our endothelial system, which produces nitric oxide and affects our ability to produce it naturally from within. And when free radicals ravage our endothelial layer, the liver sends out increasing levels of cholesterol, which um, is actually rich in antioxidants, uh, anti-inflammatory, antiviral, and anti-cancer properties. And this is sent out in the form of LDL to the site of free radical damage to deactivate the um, free radical damage that's taking place, the oxidation and in the form of antioxidants. And so my protocol is looking at antioxidants, anti-inflammatory, but before I go into that, I wanna say that the statin industry is actually the richest on earth. It's the highest grossing pharmaceutical in world history. And so they're actually blaming the cholesterol, calling LDL cholesterol bad, when actually it's like blaming the, the ambulance driver. So what science is showing is that uh, elderly are actually having, the take statins are, have an increased deaths from cancer and from heart heart attacks because we're blocking the, the body's only mode of protection against free radical damage. We're not getting to the root source of the problem and we're actually 
eliminating the only protection we have when we're not getting to the root source of free radicals. So my approach to cardiovascular ED, which is really profound, I don't know anyone uh, laying this out right now, but it's two prompt. It's avoiding uh, eliminating the source of free radicals, which are four main themes, main sources. It's the first is um, heavy metals. Heavy metals and the science is showing the latest science shows it's linked with arteriosclerosis. It's arteriosclerosis is not just a fat blocking disease only, but it's actually a, it's a inflammatory disease. Um, and so the second source is animal based foods. I, I know this probably upsets a lot of people, but the science is clear that short term um, animal based foods actually reduce our ability to, to gain an erection. But long term creates uh, organic ED, cardiovascular driven ED, as well as arteriosclerosis. Uh, the third is environmental pollutants. And this is important because most people don't realize that microplastics are actually free radicals. They create arteriosclerosis. And the latest science is clear on that. So we have to watch microplastics as well as other environmental pollutants um, like uh, pesticides and all these sources of environmental pollutants, they also disrupt our hormone balance. So that's another factor in organic ED is testosterone and estrogen. I have simple and easy solutions for that bioidentical pellet testosterone replacement therapy. But the fourth is smoking. So that's it. That's where the free radicals come from. Now we know where it comes from. So we watch that, we eliminate it. And then the second part is to actually get rid of our, our body's protection that's developed over the past when we made these behavioral, these lifestyle mistakes and had free, or some of them not mistakes. Some of this is in the, in the air. It's really what we eat, breathe and drink, but heavy metals are everywhere. So it's not our fault, but what we can do now through IV therapy, which is the, is really the fastest growing segment of naturopathy. And I believe the wave of the future is we can use two IVs specifically to get rid of arteriosclerosis. The first is calcium EDTA or EDTA. There's disodium and calcium EDTA. I recommend calcium EDTA. It's a collator um, that uh, collates out the both the heavy metal and the calcification portion of, 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 of the arteriosclerosis. Because arteriosclerosis is basically a conglomeration of heavy metal, of calcification and plaque buildup. And then we use what's called plaque X IV therapy, which is uh, soy derived. It's uh, phosphatidylcholine or PC for short. That removes the plaque portion. So we actually are able to get rid of uh, arteriosclerosis in the 60,000 miles of blood vessels in our body. Something that, well, statins don't do that anyways, but surgeries can't do that either. And this is non-invasive and safe and healthy. It's backed up by huge studies like the since we don't have a lot of time, there's the TACT-1 study, Trial to Assess Collation Therapy 1. This was government-funded study that spurred a TACT-2 study that's ongoing right now. In the TACT-1 study, they showed a 51% reduction in cardiac events and a 43% reduction in mortality in patients with diabetes. So moving on, basically, we are able to resolve this cardiovascular-driven blood flow restrictive form of ED that Western medicine is, is hyper-focused on. We have simple and easy solutions. And when, when we also need to make sure when we are able to eliminate the arteriosclerosis that through IV therapy, that we don't keep creating it like we did in the first place. So we need to make sure again, that we look at the source and keep that from, make those changes, which as I mentioned, changing from, we need to change from a animal-based diet to a plant-based diet, but not just any old plant-based diet, because you could, you could eat pizza and soft drinks and be incredibly unhealthy. So I recommend a simple diet, which is, you know, basically organic fruits, vegetables, whole grains, nuts and seeds. That's it. Mm -hmm. I also recommend, as I know you're a big fan, intermittent fasting, because this is mm -hmm. actually another biohack that um, burns fat. So we have two forms of fat that are very important to get rid of because they affect our physical health. And this in turn affects our sexual health. In fact, physical health and sexual health are totally inseparable. But, um, you know, we're able to, um, by the second, by the 12 to 18 hour period of, of IF, as you're familiar, burns ketosis, it burns ketone source. So that burns fat. And it's actually the only way to burn off visceral fat, which is an especially dangerous form of fat that we need to really get rid of. 
it wraps around our organs and inside our organs, it's underneath the muscle. The only way to get rid of that is through IF. Uh, even if you do liposculpture, that can help by burning off and through exercise and weights, burn off the surface fat. You still need to burn off the visceral fat, which is linked with many different diseases, cardiovascular, neurodegenerative diseases, cancers. So IF is another important tool I recommend. And then hormonal. Hormonal is simple, um, bioidentical pellet testosterone replacement therapy. Um, you know, this is used as a monotherapy for ED, but most men don't understand and most women don't understand that um, it's not like we take a pill and we take these pellets and it actually makes our lingam get hard. It's, it's what happens actually is this increases energy in our physical body, it increases, it helps us to build our physical health. And in turn, that creates strong sexual function. Um, they're really inseparable. There's no compartment for sex and then compartment for physical. It's all one. The sexual mm -hmm. organs are interconnected with our physical health. That's why I recommend a strong, as you are familiar also, a strong exercise and weight program because the stronger our, we make our physical health, the stronger our sexual health will be, our stronger our sexual performance and potency will be. So that's interlinked, but I was actually shocked to see that the benefits for women is incredible too, that bioidentical pellet testosterone replacement therapy for women um, actually decreases existing cancer. It can be used as a monotherapy for cancer and breast cancer, and it also decreases existing breast cancer tumors mm -hmm. and as well as all menopausal symptoms and women actually get that we share a lot of the same resolutions you know we have a difference in the lingam and the semen release but other than that the cardiovascular the neurological the hormonal we share all the same processes and um, solutions women actually have 20 times more testosterone than estrogen and they produce all their estrogen from testosterone so the only mm -hmm. source of solution for hormonal balance that I recommend, and not just for men, older men and women, but also young men and women, because we're seeing increased arteriosclerosis and hormonal imbalance due to our the state of the world today and young people. I only recommend BPTRT, bioidentical pellet TRT, because it is the safest and the scientific studies are showing this is best mimics the natural processes of our hormones. Um, but I also recommend along with the exercise program, Kegels. Kegels are used as a monotherapy for ED. Um, and what they do is we actually build up the surrounding muscles around our lingam. So when we clench and hold our, 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 those muscles to keep from going pee, that's those muscles around the lingam. And then there's the anus muscle and then the muscle in between those two. We clench those at the same time and hold it for um, 10 seconds, three times, and then uh, for 60 seconds, two times. And we do that standing, sitting, and laying down morning and evening, every day. I do that every every day, twice a day. And this has been very effective for ED. Um, and I don't recommend just one, because again, we really have to get out of this brainwashing we're in, where we think everything is blood flow ED. It's not always blood flow ED. If we do have blood flow ED, guess what? We have solutions for it, but we have to look at neurology, energy, as well as cardiovascular and hormones, as well as exercise, diet, and lifestyle changes. That's how we resolve ED. It's not by taking a pill, whether that be natural or pharmaceutical. A pill is not gonna do it. And real quick, before we finish, I do wanna talk quickly about supplements because this is another important thing. Now, most men, as well as I was guilty of it, when I started researching supplements, uh, again, these follow the same exact pathways as pharmaceutical ED drugs and are just as dangerous. They can cause sudden drops in blood pressure, even with things as benign as arginine, daily arginine use, beets, and herbs. Now, I recommend amino acids. I recommend triaminos in the IVs, you know, which is um, which is citrulline, arginine, and ornithine. Um, I recommend that, but only in IVs. I don't recommend daily use because the science shows that daily arginine use is uh, can cause sudden drops in blood pressure. So what, again, the important thing to understand, it's simple and easy to understand, is that our goal and what I do through my own supplement protocol in my book, our goal is to help support and build up our, own, our body's own ability to create nitric oxide function 
healthily from within whenever and wherever we want it instead of being dependent on a mechanical, awkward outside source every time we want to have sex. So what I have are antioxidant supplements as well as IVs, but the supplements are antioxidant. They're anti-inflammatory because the oxidation causes inflammation as well as adaptogens. And so this actually is a is is getting to the real healing of healing nitric oxide dysfunction, which would cause one part of ED, which is blood flow restrictive ED. I mean, you, Brooke, you're a wealth of knowledge um, and you've got so much information here on a very sensitive topic. One in which I know that whether you have this dysfunction or not and or you're aging and you want to be able to stay sexually active into your into to the day you die literally um you know i think that this is important information uh the supplementation the exercises the holistic way to better your your life you know there's um you know there there's no there's no re there's no doubt that sex is a big part of life it is one of the most important uh, factors that makes us human um, and, you know, even our, even our, uh, our ancestors 10,000s of years ago, like we are no different than they are in the way that we function, but we have too so many distractions and things in our life today that are causing these dysfunctions and this disabilities that are created in our relationships and in our, uh, our own well-being. And I think that if you are not sexually active, I, th I think there's studies and, and, and we'll, we'll end here, so don't go too deep into it, but like there's studies that show that people who are more sexually active into their later part of their lives um, with a partner have a better and longer chance of living. Isn't that correct? Yeah, I agree. Sex is, as I showed, it's actually interlinked with every aspect of our life. It's not yeah. isolated and we need yeah. to talk about it. We yep. do need to talk about it because it has tremendous effects on our life. And I hope that the information I provided shows that we have simple and easy, clear uh, solutions for this, that we yeah. do not need to live in fear anymore, which is Great. what we're sort of forced to do with by Western medicine and the pharmaceutical industry. So your book, uh, You Are Not Broken, A Holistic Guide to Men and Women to Heal the Pathways of Sexual Dysfunction and Restore Relational Harmony Together is available on Amazon and elsewhere. On Actually, I, I have a YouTube channel as well okay. as my website, my Great. YouTube channel, Brooke Hazen, You Are Not Broken, as well as my website, brookehazen.com. I have the free audio book in my own voice. Um, it doesn't have the studies, which the paperback has, but it does have the same chapter imagery that's inspirational and has all the same material so that's free i encourage you you know this is all information i made free for everyone um this isn't necessarily how i'm trying to, i'm not trying to make money off this i as you i i fell into this sort mm -hmm. of um beautiful incredible journey you know three years ago i was in the darkness of facing staring down the face of ed and feeling like my life was ending and i can't believe i'm at the point i am today which is why i encourage people to always Start at the foundation, give up the addiction to pornography and semen release, and you will see your life transform right in front of your eyes, as it did for me, as you can see, and for hundreds of thousands of men right now. Awesome. Uh, amen to that, bro. And I appreciate you being authentic and uh, sharing your intimate uh, story and creating this new uh, opportunity for people to create this new way of being in their sexual, in their sexuality and their not sexuality and their sexual function and, um, and health. So yeah, get the book guys, uh, visit the website, uh, brookhazen.com. Hazen is S A Z E N.com. And, uh, you will find a plethora of information as Brooke has shared with us today. So don't wait before it's too long and too late. It's never the solutions are here. Just yeah, know, absolutely. don't be afraid. The solutions are here. It's never too late, I think is a good point too. It's never too late and you are never too young or old. Thanks again for listening, never. everybody. I appreciate <laughs> you. Come back again. If you haven't yet rated the podcast, please do. It means a lot to my guests and to me as we need to be more visible on the plethora of uh information and, and podcasts out there it helps us to get listened to and helps you to find more value in this show so thanks for listening until next time stay healthy stay well and stay sexually active thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to catch the next video